Hello everyone, welcome to a tiny bit of this. Today I'm going to share with you how I created this QR code down here that I had put in a label to put on the back of all of my brochures for my business. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on the link below. Now there are other QR generators out there that you could use as well, but I'm just going to show you the one that I used. So this is the website and it's qrcodegenerator.com. I will put the link below in the description. When you first open up the page, you're going to just see where at the top bar it says login, sign up, and a drop down menu. You can sign up, um, but to, to get the free Q, uh, uh, QR code, you really don't need to sign up. All right. So what you first want to do is look at this first box right here. What we are doing here is we are making a QR code to our website. So this QR code needs to be created by from a URL. A URL is your website. So you want to click on the URL. It automatically drops your cursor down to where it wants you to type in your website. So here's where I'm going to type in my website, my URL. Be nice if I spelt my name right. Double check, make sure you spelt everything correctly because if you don't, it's not gonna take them to your website, okay? Now, if you notice, most people would normally kind of just scroll down and think you need to do your next step down here, which you don't. So we're not uploading any file. We are not uh, scrolling down to here to, you can kind of look to see where all the QR codes are used. Okay. But we just want to go to the right. So we were right here. We're going to go right here. So here you can see there's my UR, I mean my QR code from my website. And if you look down below in the blue box, it says frame. So the first thing that you have is no border. If you click on the next one, it has a border around the entire thing and it has the word scan me. If you click on the next one, it has a border around your, UR, uh, your QR code and the word scan me in a bubble at point it to your QR code at the top. The next one has a bubble with the word scan me, point it to your QR code down the bottom. Now when you get to the next one, here's where these are um, special frames, I guess you could say. That one's kind of cute with the envelope. A little ribbon, scan me with the arrow, kind of little fun things, different colors, things like that. If you were to choose any of those, they're going to cost you money. So any of these here, it's going to come up with this thing here. It says free sign up, but it does cost you. And there is, I think, like a 14 day free trial if you want to try it out. But I'm pretty sure you would have to key in your credit card. But I'm just going to go with a simple one. Once you have chosen which frame you want, you want to just go down here to the download JPEG button. You want to click that on. Once you click that on, a box is going to appear. You want to totally ignore that box unless you want to pay for a service from this website. You just want to leave it alone. It will automatically create your QR code and drop it in your download file. So as you can see, this is the box I want you to ignore. Because if you look up here, it says your QR code is being generated. Please do not refresh or exit. Once it has downloaded into your download file, there's your QR code. On my computer, my downloads automatically pop up in a box right here to the left, showing me my download. But if yours doesn't do that, you just want to go down wherever you have your download file and find your QR code right there. So here it is. So I could potentially just take that QR code 
and bring it over on my desktop. I'm just going to replace. All right. And then exit out of that. Bring my website back up. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get your QR code. Now, if you want to see how you can get your QR code from an iPad or an iPhone, I will put the timestamp down below. Once you already have your, um, your QR code, wherever you want to keep all your images, bring up your QR code. And I want to make sure that this QR code is going to take me to my website. So I'm going to pull up my phone, which is what most people will have on them. And I'm going to drop in a video of my phone taking a scan. I'm the customer now. I'm going to just take my camera and I'm going to open up my camera and I'm not going to do anything but point the camera, the camera lens onto the QR code. Once the camera has scanned the QR code, you'll see at the top, it will bring you to a direct website link. Now let's create a QR code from an iPhone. Now here on screen, you see a video that I'm taking from my iPhone. You see it, the page looks very similar than on the internet. So you want to start at the top and you want to hit the same thing that you would with the computer. And that's right here, the very first one, and it says URL. It's going to drop you down into the section where it wants you to type in your website. So here I am typing in my website. Then I'm going to go to the upload. Next section would be choose my frame. Once you've chosen your frame, you want to hit upload JPEG. Same box will come up that I want you to ignore, the yellow box. Just look up at the top where it says that it is generating your QR code. Once it has generated your code, it's asking you to download it. You're going to hit download. And then you'll see the little arrow up top. You're going to tap on that. And this is where your download is going to going to be once it's downloaded. Click that open. Then to save it to your photos, you're going to go down to the bottom right uh, left hand corner. We see the little box with the arrow and then just hit save image and it saves it right to your photo library. Now let's create a QR code from an iPad. Here you will see a slight difference than on your phone and your computer. The first box that you see actually gives you instructions. It says start by selecting a QR code type. We will select the same thing, URL. It will drop down to number two and it says enter the data you'd like to store. So that would be your website. Now you will go to step number three, which is located on the right hand side next to number one. And this is where you will customize your design. So now you want to go down to the down, download JPEG. The box will come up that I want you to totally ignore because as you can see in the blue box, it tells you it is generating your QR code. Once your QR code has been generated, it's going to ask you if you want to download it. So hit the download. 
Once you hit that download, you'll notice up at the top there'll be a circle with an arrow bouncing up and down. That means it's downloading. Click that open and you'll see your download. If you click on the download, it will bring it up big and show you what your download is. You want to go up to the right hand corner at the top where there's a square and an arrow pointing up. This is where you are going to either send it to someone, save it to your images, or wherever you want to put your QR code for future use. Now I'm going to show you how I created the labels using my QR code. In the search bar and typed in labels. I want to make sure I'm on template. And all of the different type of labels that I can create in my program are right here. Now I looked at the different sizes. I know I don't want to go to the 80 per page because they are extremely small and the QR code will get lost on there and people would not be able to scan them. If you went to the 30 per page, perhaps they might be able to scan them. I haven't tried that. So if you want to try a sheet, you could do that. Where I went, is up here to the 10 per page right here the 8 per page is definitely too big the 30 or the 10 per page is too big but I just trimmed them down so I just opened up that particular label template changed whatever I needed to change as far as my info here on my label but the way you would get your QR label or any photo, say you want to put a photo of yourself on there, you could do that. Just click open your folder where you have your QR code. And I just drag and drop right on to my workspace here in Word. Now, in order for it to get into each of these boxes, you have to size it to the way you want it. So I just go and take the corner and move it up. And that's probably a good size. That's not where I want it on the sheet. So I want what I need to do is I need to right click and go down to wrap text. And I want to take that photo and I want to wrap it around my text or I'm sorry, behind my text. So I just always go behind text for some reason and then I'm just going to drag my QR code up here where I want it and it is actually still too big so I'm just going to shrink it a little bit more. Here's where I want it. Now I, on a typical one I might make it bigger and put it here but these labels don't fit on the back of my catalog so I need to cut them. And where I've actually cut them is right here, right next to that first purple swerve and it still made my label still look pretty nice as far as size wise and then what you need to do is take that QR code or your photo so to speak because it is a photo right click copy go over here anywhere on my second label and right click and paste now I just need to take it drag it up to where I want it to be I go to my next label and I paste grab it put it where it needs to be and then I go all the way down the page. You can also put this QR code in a larger document to put on a stand on your table so people walking by if they you know uh, just want to take a snapshot of your QR code then they have it or they can take a picture or a, they can scan it right then and there and open up your website right then and there if they want to. Okay, so that is how I created my QR code and put it in my labels. Okay, I figured I'd give a face to the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this that helps with your business. I hope that you are able to utilize a QR code in a lot of different ways. Um, I think that the biggest thing is for someone who hands out a lot of business cards and don't get any replies back. This gives a great opportunity to be able to put a QR code on the back of a pamphlet where it has a little bit more information of what your business is. This way, when you hand that to a customer, they have a little bit more 
something to go by than just a business card that's usually going to get lost in the bottom of their handbag anyway. Uh, don't, don't forget to use this QR code on your tabletop displays, things like that. And let me know in the comments below if this video was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and everyone take care. Have a great day.